All right, get ready, sit back, and buckle up. I'm going to show you the world's baddest boot collection. All right, start from the top here. This here's a this here's a West School boss. West School boss. I usually wear these in the when it's snowing. He's got good trash in the snow. Yeah, mostly snowing so far. Had these about three years now, four years. So far, I haven't put a dent in them. Right here, we got a Chippewa Crazy Horse, Lug Soul. Forgot what number that Lug Soul is, number 100, I'm not sure, I can't remember. These are good, had these a few years, I got them for $70. Also, good for the snow, comfortable, good for walking, hiking, etc. These here. Another Chippewa, seven inch uh, engineer boot. These I had for almost 10 years. Still, still uh, haven't put any, you know, no sign of any excessive wear. These I wear, depending on where I'm going. If I'm going out drinking, maybe in the Bronx, I'll, I'll wear these. Got a good steel toe, in case you get in trouble. Uh, yeah, that's how I heard about, first heard about engineer boots. When I was a kid in the Bronx, uh, there was still some gangs around. We still had the tradition of wearing engineer boots. You used to hear stories about people getting kicked in a fight or something. Ever since then, I was always interested in engineer boots. What do we got here? This here is the <laughs> more junk. <laughs> Hoaxy Laredo Western boot made from goatskin. It's a good boot. It's got a leather sole. It's got a rubber heel in the back. Very slim down boot, sleek. Pretty good. Uh, some sneakers, I'll skip those for next time. This is a. Uh, This is a cat chuck a boot canvas. Pretty good in the warm weather. Got another hoaxy Laredo and dark cherry. Goat skin. There's a Wolverine. This is the Wesley wingtip. I gotta get these uh, to the shoe baker. Uh, a little worn down. Got some good wear out of them. Uh, here's my third pair of engineers. This is the Chippewa Street Warrior. This is a good engineer boot. Perfect engineer boot, as far as I'm concerned. It's a non-steel toe. And it's uh, not available anymore, so glad I bought it. This, uh, this is all I need from engineer boot, this one here. It's tough. Not afraid to get it dirty, wear it anywhere. <clears throat> All right, get that light down here. Got some sneakers, I'll skip those. I got this, uh, here's a, uh, Wolverine olive tan boot I just bought not too long ago. Navy. Looks like navy. Some kind of blue they call it navy. Who knows? Here's a Iron Ranger. Still haven't worn this one yet. Saving for the future. And um rough and tough gray. Sneaker. Skip that one. 
This is a white semi dress in burgundy. Vibram 700 half sole. And a double insole. Double bid sole, sorry. Get that light down. Okay. Here's a as there is a Mitchell Burgundy pull on work boot. Great boot. There's a veg tan leather boot from China. Red Tornado, name of the company. This is a tough boot, well stitched. Should last long. <clears throat> Another red tornado boot in red. This is an Italian leather. Red, five and a half soles. It's a good boot. <clears throat> Here's my oldest boot, bought in 1997, down in the village, New York City. This is like a goth type boot. I liked it because it looked like an engineer boot almost. And after 25 years almost. It's gonna be fixed up. I might try and do that. Sneakers, sneakers. Uh, another semi dress boot, white, the full vibe from 700 sole, elevated Cuban heel, cap two. Right, here's a Wolverine 1000 mile. Cap toe boot, brown. Mm -hmm. That's the Thursday boot. Needs a little polishing. Soon it's gonna need a resole. New heel, probably next year. This is a. This is a Chippewa. Service boot, oxblood. Haven't worn this one yet, but one of these days. Should be one more. And this is a. Uh, oh, need to clean that one. <laughs> Timberland chuckle boot. These things last forever. You can wear these like five years, you know, they don't, don't wear down. This is a good chuckle boot. I gotta clean it up though. Yeah. This is a Fry Paul Lisa boot. Been wearing these a lot to work. You know, dress pants, button shirt, business attire, casual. And there's uh, the Helston motorcycle boot, Heritage. Helston Heritage boot. These are wearing in pretty good, looking pretty good. Breaking in nice. So I think it's a good boot. Helston's. This is one you might want to get. It's a deep red color. Right, reddish brown. Looks more red than anything. So that's it for now. I'll show you the sneakers when I get a chance. I hope you liked the video. Talk to you again soon. Uh, my wife's sneakers. I could throw a couple sneakers in there.